Welcome to Chuck's Tuesday Tips. We're here at the scene of the crime. The big disaster from the storm. We're moving wood today. Chopping wood, splitting wood, doing everything to wood. <laughs> but, well, maybe not everything. <laughs> but I've had, feel like I need to go over the, the martini, the alcohol and turpentine tip again with all the questions I've been getting. So I have all kinds of stuff and all kinds of, of readiness. So here's some that are going to go in the tan. Now, I think the problem people are having is, is you assume, maybe I oversimplified it. What I'm doing here is looking for any blood or anything. If there's blood on your hide, you need to wash it first. You need to wash the blood out because the blood is a protein and it will will set and tan and um, tan into the hide and you won't be able to get it out. These are nice cats right here. Okay, well I was going to wash one, but we will wash a different one. See, there's a little bit. Well, yeah, I'm going to wash this one. All you do is get some Dawn and some warm water. And uh, just give it a quick quick rinse till you get the see that boy, that blood just came right out. Okay, so while this one dries, I have a couple in here. Now this one's about ready to be finished. I'm going to put this one in underneath so I don't lose as much tan as I can. You can see on the skin, look at this fresh skin and look at this skin. It's it's starting to take on a tanned color and like I said you leave it in for a few days and different different amounts of time depending on how thick the meat is on there and you see how it just peels off but this one's about done so what I'm gonna do is show you what the next couple steps are this one's about done and this other one Well, this one might be done too. I was going to flesh one to show the whole process. But this one, well, we'll do it anyway. You want to save as much of this as you can. Notice I'm still moving wood while we're doing this. We got production going on. We got the missionaries over here saving my soul. You know. So bring this out the best we can. This one. Once it comes out. You need to not just go ahead and you're not done yet you need to shampoo it real quick to get the the alcohol the oil I mean the turpentine out of it now a lot of people also ask this question while well, they just like I know a kid he just uses uh, alcohol on his squirrels and while that'll work alcohol does kill the bacteria and it takes the moisture out. However, 
it. You still need the turpentine in there. Turpentine, they use turpentine 150 years ago for all kinds of things, even, even for putting it on wounds to heal. And I think with the turpentine, it has petroleum, you know, it's like oil. I think it puts the natural oils back into the skin. And it definitely tans it. So you need to shampoo it. Give it a really nice shampoo. Boy, look how good that skin. See, that's tan right there. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna let this drain while we go and do something to this one. Wait, it's the wrong one. Okay. Throw that on the tumbler, let it drain. Now, a lot of times I told you you could just peel this off, but I also like to buff it on the wheel. Get it? See it? This gets everything off. Here. Now again, you don't have to tumble these at all, but if you're not going to mount it right away, you need to put it back in the freezer for sure. I just like to tumble them because they have one and it buffs the skin out really nice and when it's done it looks like a nice factory tan. I'm going to throw this in, it's too wet, but in the interest of time, just to show you, I'm going to throw this in for a little bit while we walk back out. I got good new dust in there. Gonna go back in. This one's going in. I'm gonna let it rain a little more. And I want to show you how versatile this stuff is. Here's some other interesting things in here. This is see on this thin, thin skin stuff. You could just see how. It just peels right off. Put this in yesterday, it's still not quite ready. We all know what one of these is, a skunk. So I do anything with thin skin, fox, coyote, even a raccoon, possum. But you start getting a little too thick. See the color of the meat before it went in? And you saw the color of the meat. And then, you know, if it's got a lot of fat on it, like this, you're going to really want to... Boy, I can't believe I... Oh, wait, this is the... No, this is not the one I thought... I'm going to take some of the fat off. The fat... That stuff won't penetrate too thick of a. Get a knife. Too thick of a hide. Never run with a knife.
just knock some of this fat off and I misspoke what I meant was the stuff doesn't really want to penetrate a lot of fat so there we go Oops, a little more fat so you want to you know use common sense and clean off you know the thick fat or skin it cleaner as clean as possible alrighty well it's gonna go in here alright I came back here now it's been about a couple minutes ten minutes and uh, we'll stop the tumbler now look see look at that Okay, I want, I'm not going to dry it any more than that because I'll finish it off with the blow dryer when we mount it. But you can see how nice this finishes it off. It's nice white, just like at the tannery. So, that's one step you can do. Some guys have a, a bag of sawdust and, uh, you know, mix it by hand. Or, like I said, you could just mount it and blow it out with the blow dryer. But it's really important to shampoo it. Next week I'm going to the circus. I'll be broadcasting live from the research booth. Well, not live. Live on video. Hey, can you swing around and get a picture of how wrecked my roof is? Well, we put In the wood gate. Over, huh? Yeah, it's dipped in there. There's a big ass hole right underneath that thing. I had to cover it just in case it rains. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Chuck's Tuesday Tips. And you'll actually will see me next week because I'm going to do two in a row. And uh, I'm picking up about 20 mannequins at the show. So I'll be back in business mounting cats, skunks, deer, pigs, elk, you name it, African. So we'll see you next time on Chuck's Tuesday Tips.